Hi, welcome to Spiritual Connection. I'm your host, Katie Augustine. I'm a transformation coach, I'm an energy healer, and I'm a shamanic practitioner. And I started this show called Spiritual Connection really so we could connect with each other and also connect more fully with our own spiritual natures. So I'm happy that you're joining us tonight. Thank you. So for my guest tonight, we have Mia Costanza Wiggers. Welcome to the show, Mia. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm excited for you to be here. So a little bit about Mia before we start. She's a chef, a trained chef. You can see her in her chef lights. That's great. And um, the name of her company is Mia Cucina, right? That's right. And she also has another company called Cooking with Spirit, which we're going to learn about tonight as well. And so the Mia Cucina is it's like a cooking school. It has culinary classes that's for both correct. children yep. and adults. Mm -hmm. And is that locally here? In yes, that's a, in, in Westport. I've been doing it in Westport mm -hmm. at uh, Wakeman Farm for children uh -huh. and at the Westport Senior Center for adults. Oh, awesome. Great. That's, that's, that's really cool because I think um, for kids it's so important, you know, to learn the whole, the cooking and, and they see the results. It's just, yeah. And at Wakeman Farm it's neat because there's um, a gardens there, an or organic gardens. Mm -hmm. And so they mm -hmm. pick the uh, vegetables and fruit from the gardens wow. and then we cook with them. So it's, it's really exciting to see the oh, that's product perfect. coming from the ground and going into the product, yes. into the bowls and, and then they get to eat it. Yeah, and it's healthy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. That's an added bonus. And that's such a nice facility they have there now. Oh, yes, yes, it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. For those who haven't been to Wakeman Farm, it's it's an awesome um, facility right there in Westport on Cross Highway. Yeah, and it's and it's the town. It's owned by the town of Westport. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. It's a facility that's that's uh, public. Yeah, yeah. I've been to several things there. I think it's great. So, um, how long have you been a chef? Well, let's see, I went to cooking school, I went to the French Culinary Institute in uh, 1997, so, oh. so since then. But I, when I was little, I started out, I remember um, I published a recipe when I was a little girl uh, for chocolate mousse in the town newspaper. So, you know, I, I started out little, oh, when I was yeah. little. Did you grow up in, in Europe or no? Or no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm from Indiana, and uh, my mother was a very good cook. And then uh, when I was in college, I went to Smith College and I, was stu I studied art history. And then I uh, uh, lived with a family in Italy um, and the mother was a very good cook. Uh -huh. And I learned the best tiramisu recipe from her. And back then it w I'd never had tiramisu before in the United mm -hmm. States. Mm -hmm. I think it was in the 80s. Um, so it was, that was neat. And I used to sit with her every day when she cooked dinner and watch her and see everything mm -hmm. she made. And so I understood how the ingredients came together. That's awesome. What a great opportunity. It was, it was nice. I still keep in touch with them. Yeah, it was a, it's really? Really a, a, special, a very special woman. Yeah. Uh huh. But, then, and then, but you did cooking school in, in France? At the in, um, no, in, in New York at the French Culinary Institute. Oh, in New York. In New York, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How was that experience? Um, it was so much fun. It was, it was uh, every day it was a new cake coming home. <laughs> I, you, we couldn't keep up with the cakes. And, and then it was tarts, and every day a new tart coming home. So my husband ended up taking them to work with him. Mm. And, um, you know, then it was um, uh, puff pastry and croissants, and it was, it was, it was wonderful. It was, oh. a, it was a great experience. And Making my mouth water. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, great. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was good because it, it was something that made people happy, you know, that I realized mm. that you can really make people happy with food, and, and that was a good, uh, a good feeling. Ah, so that's what drew you to do it as, as a career. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there was, there was a, a good feeling about it. Uh-huh. And how long have you had your own? Um, uh, as soon as I finished, uh, as soon as I finished school, I started um, uh, working for a restaurant right underneath my apartment. And, and we lived in Brooklyn, and I, mm -hmm. I started um, making desserts for them right away, right away and, mm -hmm. and running down the stairs and delivering the, the desserts right away. So I guess I always wanted to work for myself. Yeah, so you could be, do your own thing, but just for other people as well, like you right. were, were making for other people too. Yeah. Yeah. And how about the cooking school part of it? And, um. Oh, you know, I, was, I, um, I went to graduate school after college uh, for art history, and I wanted to be a teacher. I wanted to be a professor. And mm -hmm. um, I, just, I stopped at, at 
my master's. I didn't get my PhD, mm -hmm. but I, I did enjoy teaching. And um, I, I worked for a while um, teaching in, in a kindergarten level and elementary school level. And I really enjoyed teaching. And so I found that this is a nice way that I'm able to teach and be a chef. Wow. So it's, it's a nice way of that combining That is like the perfect the combination, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get a lot of gratification from that, too. Huh. That's awesome. So what, what was the evolution for the cooking with spirit? Or um, tell us a little bit about what that is the to cooking begin with. with spirit. Yeah. It's, well, I always say to people, think of your grandmother and think of one of the recipes that she used to make. Mm -hmm. And imagine that I can come to your house and we can cook that recipe together and um, hopefully we'll bring her back through cooking that recipe. Mm. And that's the cooking with spirit. That's what we do. And so um, some people, uh, most of the people I do it with believe in spirits. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's a person that believes in the spirit and the other people don't. And that person feels the spirit there. And the other people just are there and enjoy the 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 experience. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it it it's for each person it's it's a different experience, mm -hmm. um, but um, it, it it's meaningful for most for everyone I've 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 done it with, yeah. and we we get wonderful recipes of biscotti from Italian grandmothers and um, sticky. Uh, where where is that from? From um, St. Louis sticky butter cake from from another grandmother uh -huh. we did did it with. It doesn't have to be grandmothers, but whoever, whatever person you have that's passed ha and has a recipe or a food that they really enjoyed, we cook that food together, and it and it brings back memories of that person. Uh -huh. And it's and it's really um, it's really um, healing to uh, to to feel those memories and to to, to go through that experience of of cooking and thinking about that person. Yeah, because it's, it's always a pleasant memory to have. You know, I remember being in the kitchen with my grandmother and it was always a bonding experience and you know, you're learning but you're having fun. It's, it's, yeah. it's like and, it, and special, usually. Right, and there's smells too, and wow. smells and flavors that are, you know, right. are really That's important. All part of it. Yeah, yeah. It's a very emotional experience. Yeah, I was just thinking the other day when I was thinking of red tomato sauce, and it just really made me think of my grandmother. And I was ju just seeing little spatterings of red tomato sauce made me think of her. Yeah, and because cool. she always made red tomato sauce. Yeah. So what made you think of the idea of the of the cooking with spirit? How did that originate? Um, I was at a networking event, and I think I was talking about um, just my cooking, and. Um, a woman next to me said, you were brought here to cook my grandmother's sushi recipe with me. <laughs> and I, I, was, I, I, had cooked, I had cooked sushi before, but I was a little bit surprised. And I said, OK, you know, I, I could do this. Why not? Uh -huh. So she came to my house, and uh, we, we, we cooked the sushi together. And it, and she, it was fun. And she, we uh -huh. talked about all of a sudden we were able, we were talking about her grandmother and things about her life. and. Um, experience, uh, information about her traveling from Japan to the United States and um, I was channeling her and it mm -hmm. happened while we were cooking mm -hmm. and um, I, I was relaxed and it, the information was coming and so you know through the cooking mm -hmm. I, I, I guess I relaxed and was able to channel mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and that was the beginning of it. Interesting so it just sort of happened it was just like a natural Thing. It, yeah. I didn't try to think, oh, this is something I might want to try. It, it just sort of evolved right. on it its own, yeah. it sounds like. And I really enjoyed it. It, it felt really good. Uh huh. Yeah. And then I thought, I want to do this more. This is a really neat experience. Who else can I do this with? Uh huh. So then what was the next step? How did. Then they found, I'm trying to figure out how I found other people that wanted to do it. Um, I think I spread the word in the networking group, mm -hmm. and other people wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. And everyone I talked to about it seemed to, everyone in that group really liked the idea. And um, um, it, yeah, it's, it, it, it's, it's a fun idea. So this is in the TLC group? Yeah. The TLC Center group? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's a relatively new thing yeah. you've been offering for, mm -hmm. for several years? Yeah. Yeah. So what, what, what are some other interesting uh, recipes that you've made? Um, let's see what else. Um, there's the sticky butter, bread, sticky butter cake. Uh -huh. That's, that was outside of the, the TLC group. 
and that was uh, that was nice. That was a group of three: a mother, a daughter, and, her, and a sister-in-law. And um, that was that was fun. That was a long, long about four hours of baking. Wow! Um, and they didn't have the recipe, and it wasn't even the grandmother's recipe. It was just something she would bring from a bakery that they liked. And huh. so I had to search recipes and. I found a recipe, and yeah, that, sometimes it's not, I have to search for recipes. It's sometimes they don't give me the recipe. Sometimes they give me the recipe. Um, but it's fun that way. Yeah. You know? Well, some, in my experience, some good cooks don't even use recipes. Right, <laughs> yeah. Because right. I'm thinking of growing up, um, my grandmother actually, one of my grandmothers cooked, but the other one didn't. But she had a cook. Oh. And, and she was awesome. And... I remember so many times being in the kitchen with her, and even when I got older and I'd ask her for the recipe, and she would say, I don't have a recipe, just watch me and learn, uh -huh. you know, and I would, and I'd say, well, how much of this, how much of that? She goes, well, I don't know, I just do it by feel. She did it by feel, uh -huh. and I thought that was kind of, I don't know, <laughs> for me it was a surprise. I'm like, I didn't know you could cook like that, because I think my nature is more like to have a recipe. You know, I need that uh -huh. recipe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you measure everything. <laughs> yeah, measure. And, I'm, and you use cookbooks, yeah. And I use cookbooks. Or now it's a, a or computer. Online. Yeah, 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 online. But, yeah, I mean, I will vary it and play with it. But I don't feel that confidence that a natural cook or chef uh -huh. would feel because I didn't have that training maybe. I don't know. I think yeah. some people just don't, or maybe, let me ask you, do you think some people are more in tune with cooking than others? Like... I think so, but art? I think, yeah, but I think everybody can learn. Mm -hmm. I think it's 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 like learning to read or to more more like read, learning to draw. I think everybody mm -hmm. can learning to, mm -hmm. learn to draw, but some people are better at drawing than others. Okay, so yeah. they might have a natural talent yeah. or inclination. Yeah, yeah, because I think actually my husband is a better. He's more intuitive cook, uh, chef or cook. Uh huh. You know, he just sort of knows what would work like seasoning, spices, all that kind uh -huh. of stuff. Yeah, that's, that's somewhat what I learned from the Italian woman I lived with. I learned what seasonings go together. Like I learned like mm -hmm. basil and garlic and olive oil together. And, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. I, she, I saw her put together ingredients and I learned what went together well. And, like, she, and then she'd do things like she'd put in pasta, she'd put lemon rind and um, I think she'd use and own cream and things that I'm not used to, you know, she'd put as for sauces mm -hmm. for to pasta and, and uh, I, it was interesting, you know, because I learned a lot from that I wouldn't have learned, yeah, I, from going to restaurants, you know. Right, you wouldn't have necessarily thought of it. Yeah. Yeah. So when you are cooking yourself, when you're, do you also do like catering and stuff like that? Sometimes I do catering, yeah. And when you're cooking for yourself, do you, do you also use spirit? And you're cooking? You know, when I'm, um, I, when I was doing a, a catering event, um, uh, it was for uh, the Longridge School in Stanford, and uh, Paul Newman's daughters, I think, had gone there, and it was actually an event in his honor, and I um, called, I lit a candle, and I called him to help me mm. cook for that event, and it went really well. I was really impressed. It was it was, a, it was a big success, and it was really scary for me because it was, it was like 75 people, and that was more than I was used to cooking for. Uh -huh. And I really felt it turned out really well, and I, I really felt like he'd, he'd help me out. Okay. And then sometimes I think of Julia Child, too, because oh. she, she went to, to my college. She went to Smith College, and I always think, and I thought of her because she, start, she, didn't, she started out not as a chef. Yeah, she, and she wasn't a cook, good cook at all. And um, so you should think of her as well. Yeah, that's a perfect example, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and yeah. then she learned. Yeah, she did. That yeah. was a great um, the movie, too. Yeah, that her. was a good movie. And she was, she was a, and she's a, a neat person. Yeah, 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 I thought so, too. I, I do have one of her cookbooks. <laughs> <laughs> and they're hard. They are. Well, it was like, I think it was the first one she did. Was it just called French Cooking Basics or something? Yeah. I forget the name of yeah. it exactly. Um, but... That must be intimidating if you go look at that. <laughs> it, look. It, 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 well, it, it can be, but I don't really think of it that way. Mm -hmm. Oh, know? good. Yeah, no. And, good and for you. Sometimes I don't, you know, follow all the steps either. You know? uh -huh. I haven't looked at it probably in about 10 years, honestly. 
<laughs> maybe when I was younger. Um, but that's cool. So you, you do feel like you can get support and help. Um, you call in a spirit guide. I do, or, um, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, she's very easy to call in, too, because she's such an easy person. And, um, yeah, and, and Paul Newman, because he was from Westport, and he was, you know, he was kind of a guy around town, and um, he was, he's so, um, he, he, you know, he's such a generous person that he gave to so many charities yeah. and stuff and to organizations. Um, yeah, uh, he used to very give, generous. Yeah, yeah. So those two, I really... You know, I, I feel I, I do feel close to them. I guess they're kind of like angelic mm -hmm. to me. Yeah, angelic right. chefs. Yeah. Have you ever had anybody um, ask you to come cook and do a recipe that didn't work out didn't or work didn't out? resonate? Or um, you know, I just, just recently did a, a cooking with spirit um, dinner for friends, and um, I don't think it turned out well at all. But my husband told me to. Um, I cooked it before I went there, and I don't usually do that. I usually cook it while, while I'm with the people. Mm -hmm. um, and my husband told me one thing, never to criticize your own food. And um, he said, because, you know, if you criticize it, then maybe they look at it and they say, oh, yeah, it is bad. So I didn't criticize it, and everybody said it was great. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know if it was bad or not. I don't think it was Doesn't good. Sound well, it doesn't sound like it was not good, <laughs> or somebody would have said something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I don't maybe know. the lesson is not to do it at home. Or yeah, what was your takeaway? Yeah, away? I think I think you're right. I think it's to do the cooking with spirit, with the people at during the 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 event to, to make it cooking mm -hmm. with the people at the event. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make it a, a process. So how else do you get um, the word out about what you do? I need to, I need to figure that out, yeah. Uh -huh. I need to work on that. So you're still, it still sounds like it's in the beginning It is, yeah. Stages. I've only done about five of them, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. But it sounds like you're really interested in it. it I am, like yeah. I, I enjoy it, yeah. Yeah, and it's always at somebody's home where, where you go. Yeah. And mm -hmm. they provide, mm -hmm. they provide everything. Yeah, they provide the ingredients, yeah. Yeah. So people could just um, contact you through your Facebook page, mm -hmm. right? At, at, um, at um, it would be at Mia Cucina in Norwalk, Mia Cucina Norwalk. Mm -hmm. That's the Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, or email you. Mm -hmm. We'll put that up at the end. We'll put up your graphics. So what else um, about, like if, if someone else wanted to do this? Oh, you mean like if another wanted to start the same well, or wanted to connect with their ancestors or, you know, maybe another spirit guide and maybe around cooking, maybe not. Is there some method that you would recommend or? Yeah. Um, what, what I, I, how I got started kind of working with the spirits, um, when I wake up in the morning, um, just when I wake up, I light a candle and um, I, um, I start to pray or, and, or meditate, mm -hmm. and that's when the spirits come to me. Mm -hmm. And people say that that's a good time to do that because you're in between the kind of sleeping time and waking time. Mm -hmm. You're kind of groggy, yeah. and that is a time when you're, you're open to that kind of a thing ha happening. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Does that resonate with you? Yeah. That, yeah. yeah. No, I've had that experience too. You're in that in that, um, yeah, I guess they call it in-between in yeah. state. It's like that other world that exists all, yeah. over, or all around us. We just don't see it. Is it, it, it might be like dream world or mm -hmm. it's, we don't know. But that's, mm -hmm. and that's when my spirits come to me. And um, I get grandparents a lot. I get um, relatives. I get people, anyone who's passed. Um, uh, and it's and I, I haven't had anybody bad or dangerous or uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. um, I, I occasionally I'll, I'll remember to ask for only loved ones and and relatives and friends, or only um, light people from the light. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I'm I've been really lucky because I I haven't had anything dangerous because mm -hmm. I've I have heard that some people get you know people that are pretty. Um, kind of in trouble or troubled. I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Right, but so far it's been a positive experience for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and you would recommend doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do, you, do you get uh, spirits to? Um, I, I usually don't specifically, mm -hmm. you know. I do like more in a general sense, um, just like a higher vibration, but mm -hmm. not specific um, people mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. passed away, no. But um, I have worked with other people who do. Mm -hmm. you know, with other mediums um, who do. And, and my dad was actually very much involved in that um, in, his, in his later years. Mm. And it was very comforting for him to be, you know, it was towards the end of his life and he, um, I guess he was kind of ready, you know, to, to be with his ancestors and be with his loved ones. Because mm. um, my mother passed away when she was very young. Oh. She was 55. Yeah, very young. Yeah. So, um, you know, I think he, he, he just felt comforted by it. I think it, it was a very positive experience for him. Mm -hmm. And at first, you know, when he was talking to me about it, um, I was like, okay, that sounds really interesting. This was, you know, quite a while ago. But then I realized, too, that it is helpful. I mean, because the spirits that, that did come through were always helpful, mm. you know, and I think that that's part of it. Um, because his best friend was actually a medium, and I knew her pretty well. Um, and what she told me was that when she would do a reading, you know, a spiritual reading or, um, for me, and she said, you're not, there's not going to be any bad news. You know, there's just not. That's not what they're up to. They're here to help. Mm, They're spirit mm -hmm. guides here to help. And there's not going to be any, you know, like you said, nothing dangerous, nothing nothing um, negative really. Mm. It was all helpful, very, very mm -hmm. good information. And it just, it's just, to me, it's one more tool to help us, you know, we're here on Earth, um, we're, we will be in the spirit world one day, and I like to think that, you know, we're all helping each other. Yeah, <laughs> You yeah. know, we're all connected, mm -hmm. and we always will be and always are. So it's just one more, one more way to help us um, be the best we can be mm -hmm. in this life, you know, find out what, what, we're, um, what we're here for. Yeah. I had a beautiful um, visit from a friend who, who passed away from my church, and he told me that um, the gates of heaven are open to everyone. And that was so nice to hear that, because I had come from the Catholic Church and had heard that only certain people go to heaven and mm -hmm. so other people go to purgatory and other people go to hell. And, you know, I was always worried about, you know, where was I going to go and mm -hmm. who was going where? And, and he was so happy when he told me this, you know, and when he came to me. And it was, it was, I was shocked by that news. It was wonderful. How old were you when? Oh, it was last year. Or, oh, this yeah. was recently? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I was also raised in, in the Catholic Church and it's great for a lot of people um, for me, it, it was more, it was too much about the, the sin and the, you know, like you said, the negative aspects of it, like what you're not supposed to do. Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't about um, personal growth or individual growth. It was more follow exactly, you know, what we say. And yeah. And I, yeah. So I, yeah, it, it, didn't, it didn't really help me too so much. For your father to be doing the mediumship, was that different? How did that work with the Catholic Church? Well, he, he basically didn't practice um, at that point in mm -hmm. his life. Yeah, he, he, he left the church. Um, yeah, I think, um, I don't remember when it was exactly, but mm -hmm. I think it was, a, it was a gradual, you know, thing mm -hmm. for him. And he didn't have anything negative to say about it. It was just, it didn't work for him, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I kind of felt the same way. And it's funny because he and I didn't really talk about it until later, you know, mm. we just both kind of ended up in that, in that place. Mm. Um, but, and I found out, actually, I was talking to Beth um, Lees um, earlier. She was asking me about my spiritual journey. And I didn't, you know, we didn't talk about this part of it because <laughs> we didn't have all night. Um, but, you know, I didn't realize that I was missing that spiritual connection because when you reject something, I mean, or I should speak for myself, when, if, if I'm going to reject something, then I need something to replace it. And I didn't. 
Mm -hmm. I just thought, that's it, I'm, it's not for me, so I just stopped going to church. But I didn't find another source of that spiritual connection mm -hmm. until later. Until you have this. Yeah, now, now, <laughs> I have, now I have my show, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, because, I, because I found that it's really important and I think it might be something that other people um, would want to know about, mm -hmm. you know, and find out about, and maybe it's missing in their life. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, because in our, you know, in our society, there's, um, there tends to be a lot of, um, of negativity, mm. you know, if you, if, if you let it come in. Yeah. So I think it's important to find out what it is that's um, driving you and what's, you know, what, where, where, where's your joy, where's your happiness, mm. um, and that's, you can find it, one way of finding it, is through having that spiritual connection. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's so interesting that it takes all forms, you know, like who would have thought that cooking could be that, that source? That you could, yeah, that you could actually bring spirits while yeah. you're baking a cake right. or, you know, or rolling sushi that you can bring a grandmother back yeah and, and have and, that experience yeah and and heal someone that way you know with and she you know she um my friend who had the with the sushi she um her family was having a lot of um um divisions and problems in within the family and the experience was very healing for her bringing her grandmother back because her grandmother was someone that kept the peace yeah and she felt you know, really healed after that experience. Right, because she know? probably had that, that really strong connection with her. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome, I mean, to get that, you know, get your family members. I'm thinking um, it might be fun to try this. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, my brothers and sisters are all over the country, so I don't know, but it would be, it's something to think about, how, how to get everybody together and have that, um, you know, have our grandmother or, or, or my grandmother's cook. How about your mother? Oh, your mother didn't? She didn't cook either. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she was the daughter of the grandmother who didn't cook. Oh, it's, it's, so you do the grandmother who cooked? Yeah, uh -huh, the grandmother who cooked. She, um, yeah, and, and there's some recipes that really, you know, stand out that I remember, and, and one of them is her chocolate frosting for her, this cake that she oh. would make. And it was more like candy. Do you know how when you make chocolate candy, it's like, you cook it and then you drop the little thing in, in water until it's... Yeah, yeah, the hard, hard ball stage. Yeah, the hard or, ball stage, yeah. yeah. And that's what it was, and, and she'd put it on a sheet cake, and we would have to stand there with um, knives or spatulas because it would run off down the sides, and so you're scooping it up on, off the oh, sides cute. before it hardened. I could see this. Because it would harden so fast, you know, you had wow. to get it. And then once it did, it was just like perfect, beautiful. Uh. And I have I that recipe. You. <laughs> that would be fun. I have it in her handwriting, too. Does she have a chocolate cake recipe? She didn't. Um, no. She, the cake was not important to her. I think, I mean, this sounds weird, but I think she might have used a box cake mix. No, they always turn out. Yeah, it was the frosting. It was, uh -huh. I mean, she called it icing, not even frosting, because it was so thick, and it was like chocolate candy. But, oh, wow, this is like getting me really, <laughs> give me some Sounds good ideas good. here. We yeah, got to yeah, do yeah. it. Yeah, so we're going to put up um, Mia's contact info okay. on the screen. And she's going to um, be on her Facebook page. She's mm -hmm. going to your email address. Yes. People can call you with questions um, mm -hmm. if they're interested in finding out more. Um, just contact you. And I'm really happy that all of y'all came tonight to see our show. Thank you, and you can contact me at transformationcenterct.com or transformationcenterct at gmail.com. So once again, thank you for visiting Spiritual Connection. I'm your host, Katie Augustine. We look forward to seeing you on the next one. Blessings. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>